The question whether you should invest in Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, that's not the question. The question is, when are you going to? The time is coming where financial systems are collapsing, where people are giving up faith in their government, where the inflation rate is crazy. For example, in Japan is negative prime. Over here in Canada is uh, three quarters of a percent and the United States is 0.5. That tells you a lot when they can't even raise their national interest rate by even 0.5 a percent. And Peter Schiff talks about this great resource for you to check out. Now, right now, a lot of people are talking about Bitcoin because it's just hitting an all time high and it's been quite stable for the last two years. As of today, Bitcoin in Canada is over $1,300 and the States roughly $1,000 plus. So you're looking at Bitcoin as a vehicle of investment. But what I want to state over here is like, stop looking at Bitcoin or Ether or any cryptocurrency as an investment and start looking for it as a new opportunity, a different way of thinking and a different way of living life. It's not like you're going to become a Bitcoin millionaire. The people who became millionaires in Bitcoin, they came into this out of pure trust and faith in the system itself they came in and when it was literally pennies on the dollar and every you know there's a story about the guy spending ten thousand bitcoins to buy pizza well imagine what the ten thousand bitcoins are worth today that's not the point the point is don't view bitcoin or cryptocurrency as an investment like i said view it as an amazing new opportunity so this is my recommendation for you if you want to get involved in bitcoin don't just jump into it and spend like say $20,000 or something into it. Like any smart investor, play around with funny money or play around with money that you can burn. So money that you can burn is roughly about 5% of your liquid asset or 5% of your total liquid cash you're willing to let go, that you have no emotional attachment to. Like any investment, you should have zero emotional attachment to your money or else you shouldn't be investing in the first place. That being said, right now, you know, Bitcoin roughly around $1,300 Canadian, Go ahead, maybe put in, maybe buy one Bitcoin. Spend today a thousand American dollars and buy one Bitcoin and sit on it. Actually get into it and understand how to buy it. You can go to different exchanges. You have Polynex, you have Kraken, you have Coinbase. Uh, you can go to localbitcoins.com. You can actually buy from peer to peer, people who want to sell it from person to person. That's kind of like local Bitcoins. And actually download a wallet, great wallets. You can use Jack's wallet. You can use the blockchain wallet. You can use Bitcoin wallet. There's so many different wallets. Play around with different wallets depending on on what country you live in, you're going to have different access uh, to different wallets depending on the regulations over there with the exchanges. That being said, get a wallet, buy one Bitcoin for a thousand bucks, sit on it and play around. Maybe buy certain things so you can go to Fiverr and buy certain gigs off of Fiverr or Upwork or Freelancer.com. Amazon just started accepting Bitcoin. Shopify, depending on the store, accepts Bitcoin. I heard next year Virgin Airlines are going to set Bitcoin. Microsoft just integrated with Bitcoin. So don't view it as, oh, you're going to become rich overnight. The whole idea of fast, instant cash doesn't work that way. It's all about looking at a long-term scale. And most uh, speculators, they're saying by 2025, they're looking at one Bitcoin being $17,000. Could be, could be, could be $17,000. And some even uh, pure evangelistic people of Bitcoin saying even $50,000 in Bitcoin. But like I said before, that's not the point. The point is actually getting involved in the space putting your toe into the water and actually understanding the system that you're entering or the new paradigm that you're entering because it transforms everything. For the first time ever, you are your own bank account. You have your bank account on your phone and you can transfer money to anybody, anywhere in the world, any single time you want for pennies on the dollar. The whole idea of you having to log into your online bank account, paying all these different crazy fees. Uh, for example, if you want to transfer money internationally and remittances is a huge business, a $500 billion business per year. That's going to be completely disrupted when cryptocurrency starts proliferating, becomes ubiquitous around the world. Because why should somebody who's working in North America pay so much exuberant fees on, say, $100 or something to their cousins in Africa? They shouldn't. It should cost them pennies to send $100 and it should be instantaneously. And that individual should have the funds in their pocket, meaning their phone, as opposed to they got to be at the mercy of Western Union or they have to be at the mercy of the bank. And obviously, you no know, once the money goes to a bank in another country, corruption happens. It's just the reality of life. So don't view Bitcoin as like, oh, should I buy Bitcoin right now? Get involved. The question shouldn't be should. The question is, when are you going to get involved? And Bitcoin is one of many uh, cryptocurrency. You have Bitcoin, you have Ether, you have Dash. Um, those are three major big ones right now. And there's other ones as well. Uh, you have uh, Zcash. But 
get involved, please, please stop contemplating and stop thinking about should you, could you do it? You could do it, do it today. Go to the exchanges such as I mentioned. If you want more information about Bitcoin or blockchain, go to blockgeeks.com. Join the community, ask your questions, you'll get answers right away. But I'm telling you right now, society is transforming. And if you want to be ahead of the game, if you want to really understand where society is going, especially with automation, with blockchain technologies, get involved. It's simple as that because you're going to blink sooner or later and be like, shit, man, I should have invested because people said this about, I don't know, two years ago, Bitcoin Z. I think they proclaimed Bitcoin Z more than 100 times. Bitcoin Z, Bitcoin Z. It's eight years. It's been eight years. And it's growing stronger and stronger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, it has ups and downs, but it's been eight years and it's helping so many people around the world. And the whole idea of cryptocurrency, uh, this whole idea of you having this digital digital token online that you can transfer value from one person to the next person without having a middleman is revolutionary. So join the revolution, uh, become involved in cryptocurrency, become involved in blockchain and stop second guessing yourself. Get involved today, follow the steps that I mentioned and have some fun. Join the party guys. Peace.